All right, we're on lesson 15.3, which is using unit angles to find measurements. So we already did our guided practice in class, so we're going to head on to number five. So here we have find the measure of each angle, use pattern blocks to help. So this one's going to be a little bit difficult because we don't have those pattern blocks with us. But what we can do is we can do our best. So right here, remember this is 30 degrees in that tan pattern block. And so notice how we could fit two of them in. So two of groups of 30 would be 60. So this one is 60 degrees. Right here, we notice this is a square corner, which would be a square for our pattern block. And remember, a square is 90 degrees. Our next one, this one could fit in one tan. So that is 30 degrees. Over here, this one's a little bit tricky. So what we can do is we're going to think on our red one, which is that trapezoid. And this is the same shape as that trapezoid. And that trapezoid corner would fit in right here perfectly. And if we remember that trapezoid is 120 degrees, if we don't remember that corner of a trapezoid is 120 degrees, then what we could do is we can break it up. And this is actually going to be three tan ones. Ah, see, I couldn't draw. That's what's making this hard. That's three groups of our tans, and we have three times four as our basic math fact, which is 120 when we add that zero back on. This next one over here is going to be a even harder. So this is going to fit in with five of those tan ones. Man, that last one wasn't even good at all. So what do we have? Well, we have five groups of 30. So that's five times three is 15, and I add that zero back on. Over here, we see we have a square again. And remember, whenever we have a square angle, that's always a right angle, which is 90 degrees. Heading down here, we have that same thing. A square would fit into this corner. We also have that square angle, so that is 90 degrees as well. Here we have a straight line, and remember a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. If we don't remember that, then what we could do is we can stack up the tan ones, and we would have six of those tans, which is going to be hard for me to draw. But what's even easier about that is we don't even need six of those tan ones, because what we can do is we can just stack two squares. And how does that help us? Well, here's one square, which is 90 degrees. And here's another square, which is another 90 degrees. So both of those items work, because 90 plus 90 equals that 180. This last one, this would fit in with one tan. So that is going to be 30 degrees. Heading to our next page. What is the measure angle of the yellow hexagon pattern block? Well, this one we're going to do it a little bit differently. What I can do is I can fit a square into this part. So I know this part is 90 degrees. And then what can I fit over here? Well, over here, I can fit in a tan one. And a tan is 30 degrees. So what do I have? I have 90 plus 30, which is 120 degrees. Now let's head over to number 15. It says, what's the measure of the angle formed by the clock hands when it's 5 o'clock? So I'm looking for this mystery angle. Well, if I remember from yesterday, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 parts. So I'm looking for 12 parts, and I'm looking for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those pieces. So I'm looking for 5 twelfths of... 360. So what can I do first? Well, if I remember from yesterday, I'm going to find what 1 12th of that clock is. What is 1 12th of 360? Well, I know that 3 times 12 is 36, and then I could add that 0 back on. So 30 times 12 is 360. So that means each 12th is equal to 30. So this one part is here is 30. This part right here is 30. 
Here's another 30. So I have five groups of 30. So five groups of 30 is 30 times 5, which is 150 degrees. For number 16, we have how many 30 degree angles are in a circle? Write a solve multiplication equation to solve. Well, this is kind of what we just did up here. We have a circle is 360, and we're breaking it up into what? We're breaking it up into groups of 30 this time. So what is that? Well, my basic math fact is going to be 36 divided by 3, which, as I know, 3 goes into 3 one time. Multiply and subtract. Bring down. 3 goes into 6 two times. Multiply, subtract, which is 12. So it's going to go into it 12 times. So this is my equation. 360 divided by 30 equals 12. But what I noticed is this is exactly what I had up here. It's just the opposite. So I already did that problem by breaking the clock up into 12 equal pieces, and I knew that each piece was equal to 30. This just asked me to do the reverse. Now for number 17, how many unit angles make up the smaller angle formed by the clock when it is 3 o'clock? So here I have my clock. Here is 3 o'clock. What is this angle? Well, that is 90 degrees. How do I know it's 90 degrees? Well, it forms a right angle. So I'm going to put that. It forms a right or corner angle. And what do we know about those? Which is always 90 degrees. If it makes that square or corner angle, it's always going to be 90 degrees. Number 18 now, Veronica perches a rug with length of 12 feet and a width of 4 feet. One fourth of the rug is purple and the rest is blue. What is the area of the blue part of the rug? Well first, I have to find out my total area. So how do I find out my total area? Well it's 16 times 4. So we have 4 times 6 is 24. Regroup. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So my total area of this rug is 64. But what is it telling us? It's telling us a fourth of it. So I have to break this up into four pieces. One, two, three, and four. So the total thing now is 64. This one-fourth part is purple, and the rest is blue. So what do I need to do? What area of the rug is blue? So I'm looking for three pieces out of four. So I have to figure out what one-fourth of 64 is. So I break 64 up into four pieces. And what does that tell me? That tells me one piece is equal to 16. So I have three groups of 16. So 16 times 3 is going to be 48. So what is my answer? The area is 48 inches squared. Hey, okay, option number 19. The hands of a clock form a 100 tree degree angle. Name two different times it could be. So here's my clock, and we have 120 degree angles. Well, we know if it is 9 o'clock, that's a right angle. And we know if it's 3 o'clock, that is also a right angle. So what are those? Those are both 90. And we need to go 30 degrees more, which if we remember each twelfth of the circle, or each number, is going to be an extra 30. Because 90 plus 30 is 120. So I'm looking for this angle. So what's one more past 3? Well, that's 4 o'clock. What's one more past not, or one more before 9? That's 8 o'clock. So name two different times. It could be 3 o'clock, or it can be 8 o'clock. Heading to our Last one, number 20. Before creating their own dollar, American colonists used a circular coin called an eight reels that could be divided into eight equal pieces, which I see right here. Select all the true statements about the pieces of the eight reels. So each piece has an angle of 360, or has an angle measure of, three, of 60. Well, I know that a circle has 360, and we're breaking up into eight pieces. I'm finding one eighth of 360, which again, that means 1 8 times 360, which we multiply as 360 over 8, 
And I think of that as division signs. That's how I ended up here. 8 goes into 36 four times. Multiply, subtract, bring down. 8 goes into 45 times. Multiply, subtract. So each angle degree is 45. So is that first statement true? No, that first statement is not true. So now number three, three pieces have a total angle of 135. We know one piece is 45. So what would three pieces be? Three groups of 45. Well, that is going to be 135. So this one is true. Five pieces turn through 225 one degree angle. So that would be five groups of what? Five groups of 45. So let's check that one. Five times 45. Five regroup. Five times four is 20 plus two is 22, which is our matching statement. Three 30 degree angles can fit into two pieces of the eight reels. So what do we have here? We have three 30 degree angles. What is that? Three groups of 30 is 90 can fit into two pieces of the eight reels. So what is two pieces? Well, here are my two pieces. What is that? That's 45 times two, which is 90. And since my answers are the same, that means they're both equivalent. Now, our last one is half of the eight reels has an angle measure of 90. Well, let's check. What is half? So half would be this part right here. And what do I notice? Well, that's going to be 45, and I have one, two, three, four groups. So 45 times 4, which is 180. So that last one is not true. Good job, guys.